today I'm going to show you how to clean a gas stove top. Here's the list of the things that you will need. Some Blue Dawn dish soap, yellow Easy Off, some Wyman stainless steel spray, a scrub brush, an SOS pad, some Windex, and a paper towel. Start by filling your sink with hot water and then throw in a few dishwasher pods. Now grab the stove grates and the burner caps and throw them in the sink to soak. Now grab your vacuum and suck everything up and then take the burner heads off of the stove, but you are not putting these in the sink with the dishwasher pod water that we just put the other stuff in. These are made out of aluminum or something. And sometimes when you soak them in a dishwasher with a dishwasher pod, or if you spray them with oven cleaner, they'll kind of tarnish and turn black. Uh, if you accidentally do that, you can always just polish them up with some barkeepers friends that will take it off. But best bet is just to wipe them down with some dish soap or Dawn Power Wash and they'll be good as new. If they're really disgusting and crusty you can replace them they're like about 30 bucks on amazon for four just make sure you measure and order the right size i'll put a link in the caption below so you guys know what you're searching for because lots of people don't know what these are actually called now grab a wet microfiber cloth you can use a regular old dish rag here we just prefer to use microfiber cloths because we find that they scrub better and squeeze some blue dawn on dish soap onto the cloth and then scrub the stove top to lift off as much burnt on crud that you can now soak up any of the leftover soap and water with a rag Next, grab your can of yellow Easy Off and spray it on any stuck on burnt spots that the soap didn't lift off the first round. You can obviously skip this part of the soap is lifted off of everything, but lots of people have very badly cooked on spots and this oven cleaner is gonna lift it in a jiffy. Now you need to let the oven cleaner sit for about 15 to 20 minutes. It works in layers. You might have to spray it more than one time. As you let this sit, we're gonna use this time wisely and head over to the sink. Depending on how bad your grates are, you may need to leave them in the sink for a few hours. Don't forget to rotate them so that each side gets a soak. If you have a big sink, you're gonna win here. Once the grates and the burner covers have soaked long enough, you can start scrubbing. You can also use an SOS pad if you have really burnt on crusty pieces. Rinse really well and let them sit to dry. Now head back on over to the stove because you're not done there yet and use an SOS pad to scrub the spots you sprayed with the oven cleaner. Make sure you are wearing gloves when you work with oven cleaner at all times because if you get it on your fingers, it will eat through your hands. Now grab some paper towel and wipe up any of the excess oven cleaner. When oven cleaner dries, it can leave kind of a white, like filmy residue. So what you want to do once you've wiped off all of the oven cleaner is take a wet rag and just give it a good wipe down to get rid of any residue that might be left over. You might even want to let it dry and then wipe it again before you move on to the next step, just to make sure that all that residue is gone. Once it's dry, grab some Windex and give the stove top a good spray and use paper towel or a polish cloth to shine it up. And now back to the burner caps. You can grab some Wyman stainless steel spray and spray it onto a cloth and then wipe them down. It's gonna really bring back the shine so they aren't dull looking. Do the same thing to the grates and place everything back in its spot. I would suggest letting the Wyman soak in for a few hours before you decide to cook on the stove. In all honesty, don't cook on the stove tonight, order in, but let the Wyman soak in just so that it has a chance to really condition and soak into the stove grates. It's gonna help seal them and just make them keep that high shine. And you're done. Like I said, order takeout tonight and don't let anyone cook on this beautiful clean stove.
Remember, your stuff isn't wrecked, you just need to clean it.